This is Crime, Mr. Wade, bringing you the stories. Stay tuned for a lot more. Today's unfortunate story is about Pedro Alonso Lopez, known as the Monster of the Andes, is a Colombian serial killer, child rapist, and fugitive who murdered a minimum of 110 people, mostly young women and girls from the year of 1969 to the year of 1980. Lopez claimed to have murdered over 300 people. He is considered by many as one of the most prolific serial killers and rapists in history. Pedro Alonso Lopez was born in Colombia in the year of 1948 in the municipality of Venadillo, Tolima. Pedro Lopez was the seventh of 13 children born to Benedita Lopez de Castaneda, a sex worker, and had a difficult childhood to the violence of the household and the absence of a father figure. His father, Magdardo Reyes, was murdered in La Valencia six months before his birth. Lopez was banished from the house at age eight when his mother caught him attempting to molest his sister. Homeless, Lopez wandered the streets of Bogota and was frequently sexually abused. After the incident, he joined a gang and street children for protection. At the age of 12, he was adopted by an American immigrant family, but fled after he was sexually assaulted by a teacher. In the year of 1969, Lopez was sentenced to seven years in prison for auto theft. During this period of incarceration, he was raped by three other inmates whom he later killed, resulting in his sentence being extended by two years. Upon his release from prison in the year of 1978, Lopez began wandering throughout the northwestern area of South America, eventually arriving in Peru. He later claimed that during this period, he had killed over 100 girls, mainly street children and from indigenous tribes. While these claims are unverifiable, it is known that Lopez was briefly captured by an, an indigenous tribe in South Central Peru after attempting to abduct a nine-year-old girl. The crew stripped Lopez of his clothes and belongings and buried him in the sand. However, an American missionary convinced the tribe to release Lopez and turn him over to the police. The police did not retain Lopez, and he was instead expelled from the country. After his deportation from Peru, Lopez resumed his killing spree, and although authorities began to notice an increase of missing persons, more specifically young girls, throughout areas where he traveled, they concluded the disappearances were mostly likely cases of human trafficking. In April, the year of 1980, the area surrounding Ecuador were hit by flash flooding, unearthing remains of several young girls who had been previously reported missing. This revelation prompted the police to reopen their investigations and contributed towards Lopez's ultimate arrest later that same year. Not long after the flooding, a local woman named Carvinia Poveda was on her way to the market with her 12-year-old daughter, Marie, 
when Lopez attempted to abduct the girl. Local merchants were able to overpower Lopez and hold him until the police arrived. While in police custody after his arrest, Lopez initially refused to cooperate during his interrogation, choosing to remain silent. Eventually, he began to confess his crime to police captain Pastor Cordova, who had been placed in the same cell as him while posing as a prisoner. Lopez boasted that in total, he had murdered over 200 in Ecuador, some tens in Peru and more in Colombia. He described his modus as first luring the victim away from the public spaces with a trinket before raping and strangling them to his bare hands. He additionally claimed that he would occasionally exhume the victim's bodies from their burial site and have parties with them. When asked about his motive for the murders, Lopez reportedly said, I lost my innocence at the age of eight, so I decided to do the same to as many girls as I could. Soon after his confession, he directed the authorities to the bodies of 53 victims, and his confession soon led to the confirmation of a total of 110 in Ecuador. Later in the year 1980, Lopez was convicted of murder and sentenced to 16 years in prison, the maximum prison sentence available in Ecuador at that time. Lopez served his prison sentence at the Garcia Moreno prison near Quinto and was released from prison two years early on August 31st in the year of 1994. In an interview shortly before his release, Lopez described himself as the man of the century, and he said he was being released for good behavior. After his release, Lopez was deported to Colombia and was detained as an illegal immigrant on arrival before being handed over to the Colombian authorities. Prosecutors were unable to make a case against him, and he was instead declared insane and committed to a mental hospital. In the year of 1998, Lopez was declared sane and released on a $70 bail on the condition that he would periodically report to the authorities. He was almost immediately absconded. The last reported sighting of Lopez was in the year of 1999 during the month of September when he visited the National Civil Registry to renew his citizenship card. In the year 2002, Colombian police and Interpol issued warrants for Lopez's arrest over a murder being similarities to his modem. The Interpol warrant was deactivated in the year 2012, but Lopez remains a fugitive. Lopez has also been named as a possible suspect in a homicide committed in Tunja, Colombia in the year of 2012. I hope you enjoyed this unfortunate story for all the ones murdered by Pedro Alonso Lopez and to the families. I, Mr. Wade and Mrs. Crime, and once again, we 